What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. He's just going to break bad. Truck driver says, let's get together and shut this fucker down. Driver wants to shut down the interstates to make trucking better. Do you guys agree? I mean, in this clip right here, he says, look, we know about the problems in trucking right now. In order to get it satisfied, we need to unify and shut down the interstates. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. TikTok, what's going on? Look, I got a lot to say in a short amount of time, but there's over 300,000 owner operators out on the road. And I keep watching these TikTok and YouTube videos about truck drivers complaining about the freight prices and the fuel prices. Look, you want to make it, you want to take initiative, you want to be heard? Why don't we shut down the interstates? Why don't we have a peaceful protest like the Canadian truck drivers did? The Canadian truck drivers came together. Why can't us come together? Why can't we come together like the railroad came together? But hear me out. I'm not talking about a convoy. I'm talking about an actual shutdown. 95 all the way over to 5 in California. 94 all the way down to 10. We shut this down at one time and we stay there for a couple days. I guarantee you it'll be a whole different ball game. Make sure you got enough fuel, food, and water because there's going to be a couple four-wheelers that are going to be standing with us that want to join. So we're going to have to feed them. We're going to, we're going to give them something to drink. And for the four-wheelers that want to go home, we let them go home. But as far as dry box, reefers, step decks, and skateboards, even oversized loads, we're not moving. Because if all of us owner operators shut down these interstates, that means these mega carriers stop moving. That means our what we're asking for might might be met. Personally, what I want to ask for is I want the FMCSA to govern these brokers how they govern us drug drivers. I think I think they're taking a little bit more than they should. There's no reason on why everything in these stores is getting more and more expensive while we're hauling this freight for cheaper and cheaper. And any broker found, you know, double brokering or skimming more than they should, mandatory $15,000 fine or $10,000 fine just so they know don't do it again. And after your second time, your broker's license is revoked. And I'm also tired about them saying, oh, the uh, fuel surcharge is in with the uh, freight price. No, I want an actual fuel surcharge. As far as shippers and receivers, they have one hour to unload us. After an hour, <laughs> after an hour, it's 50 to $100 an hour. As far as an ELD is concerned, I don't have no issue with the ELD. I'm, I enjoy the ELD. If anybody has anything else to say about it about the ELD drop a comment but truck drivers you guys want to be heard you you want what you're saying to be met man this is the only way you could do it because it we're not back in Hoffa's time when Hoffa could have made that one call and shut down the entire country we got to stand together as one that's the only way then the government knows we're not gonna stand as one I only got 200 subscribers. I don't know how many views this video is going to get. But for all my own operators and lease operators, come on. Let's get this money. I don't got nothing else to say. I hope everybody has a blessed day. I'll catch y'all on the flip-flop. Drivers, let me know what you think about this. Let, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So, I, you know, I, I stand with my truckers. I stand with you guys. I really do. I see what y'all want to do as far as as far as making things better for us truck drivers and and making things better for you know the owner ops and everybody else man everybody else it, it, the problem the problem is right the problem that i've seen since i've been in this industry is the lack of unity now years ago years ago you you get on the cb you say hey truck drivers we're gonna shut this mother down we're gonna we're gonna hold a convoy and we're gonna get our 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 situations met it was it had happened back in the day there was unity in trucking back in the day when one trucker felt some kind of way and he brought it out over the cb it went across all airways and, and they got some things changed. A little bit has changed. But you got modern times now. You got these, you got more mega carriers out here that's controlling 
what's going on in trucking, though. I hear y'all. I hear you. I hear you. If all of us get together, the owner operators and all like that. But you got to understand, owner operators, if they shut down for a couple of days, it's going to hit. It's going to hurt their bottom lines, too. A lot of truckers say, hey, you know, we don't move. We're not moving for less than whatever the amount. I get it. But when they're not moving, 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 you know, it's going to put a hurt on them pockets. You got some drivers out here, some owner operators out here that's working from check to check. A lot of them that been in this game for uh, at so many years, and I'm going to say like 30 years plus, you know, the one, you know who you are, the ones that started back in the 80s. You know who you are, the one that lost your family, the one that lost your wife. You had to go through a divorce. You lost, you, you lost half your finances because you had to give it to your wife and everything. And now you live in check to check, right? A lot of, a, a lot of old school truckers didn't have 401ks back in the day. They didn't think about saving. Some of you did, though. Uh, don't get me wrong. Some of you did think about saving. Some of you did think about the future. But a lot of you haven't. So if you guys decide to shut down today, it's going to hurt the pockets. Maybe, maybe not. Drivers, let me know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Am I right? Am I wrong? We should all come to a agreement and we should all shut down so we could get what we want you know we should i mean just look what happened the 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 railroad shut it down look what happened they got what they want canadians shut it down look what happened they got what they want now it's our time to 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 do something to get what we want but it's never going to happen you want to know why i'll tell you why as long as these mega carriers like Swift, J.B. Hunt, U.S. Express, Prime, and the rest of them, and the rest of them, y'all know who y'all are, the rest of them, if they're not going to shut down, then nothing's going to happen. They're not going to participate in the shutdown. Want to know why? Because all of them is in the Truckers Alliance, and they all, it, it's like a click. It's like a click. Now, you, I agree with the owner-operators. If y'all come together to do something, maybe, maybe. But the owner-operators, the, the owners of these mega carriers, they're not going to do it. They're not going to shut down. And, and if one of their drivers decide to shut that truck down with them, how, how long do you expect them to have that job? Yeah, no problem. I work for TMC. I'm white with you guys. Okay. That driver going to be like, yeah, uh, uh, truck number 403, where you at? Hey, I'm not moving. I'm part of the shutdown. Okay, I'll tell you what. After the couple of days, you bring our truck back. Thank you. Please come again. Your service is no longer needed. But wait, 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 what do you mean? No, 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 no. Your service is no longer needed. But I was, I was part of the shutdown. I'm, I'm, I'm part of the, you know, we, we trying to make things happen in trucking. No, no, you do it in your truck, not ours. <laughs> not ours. You do it in yours. When you go get your truck and it says, such and such on the side, then by all means, you can do whatever you want. You can park it, feed it, move it, shake it, move it, move it, park it, whatever. But when it says TMC on the side, no, no, you, you got to move that truck. You got to move that truck. So I, I'm, you know, I'm with you guys. You know, y'all, y'all talking November 1st. I want to see what's going to happen. Maybe a handful of you guys. But you need the conglomerate. You need the you need the conglomerate to 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 stand up. You need conglomerates like Walmart, 
You need conglomerates like U, uh, UPS, Old Dominion, uh, FedEx. You need those. You need those conglomerates to shut down with you to make any type of changes. All right. With that said, more power to you guys. I hope y'all got some success. And let's keep it moving. Drivers, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Big G's got it locked, boy. Won't you let me all night? Yeah, take me down. Won't you make me real wet? Yeah, swimming around. Won't you to take it like a G? Yeah.